there's, an, there's a spectrum of opinions. I remember, though, just on a humorous note, uh, when uh, the famous Phoenix Lights incident happened, and I got a call from a reporter, and they sort of they, they want to tell you something that's allegedly happened, and then they want me to explain it within 30 seconds. And I, I, I just don't work like that. Uh, but it was sort of like, well, well, what was this? And I said, I have no idea. And he was sort of like, see? And, and I'm thinking, you, you don't understand that, that uh, you just have negative evidence. You don't actually have anything, it's just unidentified, and you're using an argument from ignorance. That is, you're saying, we don't know what it was, therefore we know what it was. And this is just a great logical fallacy. And this, i just share this with you, this is the secret to most of the paranormal is that it's, it's all negative evidence, there's no corpse of Bigfoot or anything, but we have, of course, uh, we don't know, we don't know, we don't know, and then, oh, it's great mystery, we use words like unsolved and unknown and unidentified, and the implication is that we have something, but we don't have something. But anyway, I, I said to this guy, I said, well, you know, I think eventually we'll know what this was, and we do know. The Phoenix, what the Phoenix Lights was. It was a, a squadron of planes and they dropped some parachuted flares as a military exercise. And we know that for sure. But I didn't know it at the time and I just said to him, I said, whatever it was, I think the least likely possibility that it's extraterrestrial life. And he just went after me that quickly. Why do you say that? And I said, well, I just can't understand why the the extraterrestrials are coming on what would seem to be some sort of clandestine mission and hovering over Phoenix with their bright lights on. <laughs> uh, anyway. Well, I'll just say briefly that I don't really speculate on that. I'm going to wait until we have signs of life on a number of planets. And if we actually find that life is out there, at least in some kind of microbial form or we don't know what it is, then we can start speculating.